gonna get back some. Y'all think I'm too bright. Let's see. Uh-uh, Joy, because I just started. it. Turn this ring light down just a little bit. Okay. Turn this a little better. Okay, you guys. So I'm gonna wait two minutes in to start like um, the outfit of the day. But today I'm gonna be doing an outfit of the day. I hope everyone had a awesome weekend and a very happy Sunday. Um, it's kind of bright, but I keep it bright because when I go back to do the outfit of the day, I want you guys to be able to see <clears throat> my whole complete look and the colors. So it's kind of bright now because I'm close. But anyway, you guys, I was just gonna tell you why the two minutes is counting down about my weekend. <laughs> I've had the business weekend. I had the grandkids today, so I thought I was never gonna be able to do a live. Um, I actually normally go live on Fridays, but with the grandkids here, one is two and one is one. My hands are totally full. I can't do anything but see 10 to them. So it's been a really busy weekend. I haven't gotten much done for myself, but I did enjoy my babies. Um, so that is my weekend because I didn't do anything but babysit, literally. It didn't go anywhere. Like just made a couple of runs to the grocery store or whatever, but that was it. So I just had a pretty much laid back enjoying the baby's weekend. So I decided I'm going to do an outfit of the day. And then I want to share with you guys some of my beauty and fashion favorites that I'm definitely going to take with me in 2020. I'm going to continue to use. Um, maybe some you guys have never heard of or whatever. Um, I always like to see these types of videos so I can kind of compare and some of the products I try out because I'm like, oh, never heard of that one. So if you guys see anything you like, oh, okay. Um, maybe I can try that. I'm going to share that with you after I do my outfit of the day. And you guys, today my outfit of the day is everything came from Prissy. Well, my blouse and my skirt. For the ones who don't know, I have a boutique. And um, let me turn my volume on. I hope y'all can hear me. Okay, my volume is all ready down, so I don't know if y'all can hear me or not. But for the ones who don't know, I have a boutique. Um, it's Prissy by Tawanda, P-R-I-S-S-Y. B Y T O W A N D A dot com. I'm going to leave um, the links down below um, at the end of this video. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start my outfit of today, of the day, Sunday outfit of the day. So, you guys, this blouse, um, it's a black blouse. I'm really into the sheer rouge sleeves. I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. So, this is definitely something I'm going to take in 2020, which I'll get to that later. But anyway, this right here is on my website. I love it because this part is stretchy. I have to have stretch, as you know, because I just have to. I'm a curvy girl, and things just fit me better with stretch to them. So, I love the sheer sleeve, and I love these sleeves so much because they're so poofy. And a lot to do with it because it has this elastic band at the bottom, which really poofs it up and really makes it exaggerate, and I absolutely love it. Um, I love the high neckline. I think it's neck high necklines are very stylish and I just love what they do. I don't know. I just love they look so sophisticated and so elegant to me. And then, oh, the back of the shirt. It has these three little buttons if you guys can see in the back. I love buttons that kind of latch or have the three little buttons because they go up high on your neck. So I love that. It's just hard to, you know, button sometime, but I'm a pro at it because most of my blouses are made like this. So today I tuck the blouse in and I have what you call maybe this hunter green skirt. Thank you so much. And I have like this hunter green skirt and you guys know how I am about high waisted skirts. It's high waisted and it has like the ruffle detailing going down the side and around the bottom of the skirt and it comes up high on my waist and i love the fabric it's really stretchy really comfortable um and i'm gonna show you the back of it the ruffles go all the way around the bottom um i just when i picked this from my boutique i thought oh it's so girly so feminine um this would be perfect item to put on my boutique and that's what really caught my eye with the ruffles and the sheer sleeves so i thought i'm gonna wear this today and do a total sunday outfit of the day so i paired it up you guys with these i don't know if you can see them but they're like a zebra print high heel love them they're pointy toe i'm gonna push it down just a little bit so you guys can see it better yeah oh i hope it don't fall <laughs> anyway it's zebra print you probably seen on one of my other little books that pointy toe um skinny heel love what it does for the skirt 
I always think ballroom dancing when I see these type of skirts and dresses, but I actually love the ruffling. And then I love what it does for your waist. Cause like, if you're like me and you have a little fupa, it's like ruffles really camouflage. We have ruffles going down the side and going down the middle. So I love them. They're so flowy and they're just so feminine. And I just think they just make the outfit look so super cute and stylish. So I'm really into like skirts with detailing, whether you just have like a little lace on the side, some ruffles or, you know, propel them or whatever. I'm really into like skirts with detailing. So I love this. I thought, oh, I have to have this for my boutique. And you guys, it comes in so many. If you can see my shirt, again, sometimes when you tuck it in, you can't see that. But it comes in so many different colors. I have like burgundy, um, black, I think like some type of blue. But when you go on my website, you'll see all the options. I definitely bought these for myself because I definitely want to see the feel of them so I can really be really destructive with you guys and tell you how you know it feels and how it wears after all days very comfortable and I plan on definitely getting one in the burgundy reddish color because I just fell in love with it and this top also comes in red but you know how I feel about black that Selena will <laughs> I'm doing it live. This is a live outfit of the day. This is something new I've started doing. I started doing my Sunday outfit of the days live. So it's a lot of pressure, I'm telling you. So yeah, this is live. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, so this is my complete look today. Yeah, you're right. The skirt does look like something Selena will wear. I'm totally into ruffles and lace. I am such a girly girl. So this is just so much down my alley. I love stuff like this. I'm actually just drawn to ruffles and lace. And I actually have a dress on my website also that is similar to this. It has the shirt, it's actually a dress, but it's like the plain top. And then the skirt part has like the ruffle. I love ruffles. I love detailing on my skirts and blouses. I'm just really into that. So anyway, and then I added you guys these leopard. It looks kind of bright when I go plus with these little leopard. This is also on my boutique. It's these leopard drop earrings. Love them. They're light colored, like the same color of my shoes. And I just fell in love with them. I just wanted to add a pop of color to this black and to this green. So this is my complete look today for church. You guys make sure to tell me what you think. But yes, I do get Selena vibes. I get ballroom dancing vibes. Like I said, I get all that with the ruffles, but I love it, love it, love it. Your hair is gorgeous. Oh my God, I'll shake it. Oh, hey cousin. I love you. You love it, yo, yo, that, thank you. Y'all are so sweet. Okay, you guys, so that's my outfit of the day. Take one last look at my blouse. Like I said, both of these, I, well, all three of these items are on my boutique. This is my blouse. I just fell in love with the sleeves, you guys. Oh, I love the big poofy sleeves. And then, this is my skirt. Also on Prissy. And these are my earrings. So hopefully you guys will see something you like. Shop Prissy by Tawanda. Okay, you guys, so now I'm gonna sit down and do the second part of my video, which will be my beauty and fashion favorites. So I'm gonna pull out a chair, cause y'all, it's been a long day. I've been in church all day. Oh, it's too high, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower it some. That's the only thing about this live. I mean, y'all, I can't hide nothing. Y'all see everything. I mean, it's okay. It's just a lot of pressure. <laughs> okay, that's much better. Let me go down so y'all can't see it. Okay. Okay, you guys. So, I decided to do beauty and fashion favorites instead of just fashion favorites. Just so I can share you guys with some of the things that I've used in 2019 and I have absolutely fell in love with. And I'm like, I'm definitely going to continue using them in 2020. I'm going to turn the brightness down a little bit. I don't know, this ring light kind of bright. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So, let me get everything over here. And of course, my necklace is going to... Okay. Hold on, y'all. Okay, I'm going to start with some of my beauty favorites. Okay, you guys. This is something that I have been using for years, and I'm definitely going to continue in 2020. Um, I have been doing it for as long as I can remember, and that is putting primer on my eyelashes before I put my mascara. Um, this right here, primer, is by L'Oreal. It's called Voluminous. I love, love, love it. It's white, and then the top of it is gold. And you're not going to probably be able to see it because this ring light is so bright. But anyway, it's by L'Oreal. It's Voluminous. 
I love it, you guys. I put it on first, and then I just wait. You don't have to wait a long time, but I do like to wait at least two, two minutes or three minutes because I like for it to get hard. Because when it gets hard and it's like you're prepping your lashes for the mascara, and then once you go over it with the mascara, it just brings your lashes out to their fullest potential. So they look so long, so voluptuous, so thick and full. Like people will ask you literally, are they fake? I've had people ask me, are my lashes fake? And when I really take the time and do this, I use it pretty much every day, but sometimes for work, I'm like, I'm in a hurry. But if you really take your time and use it, your lashes will look gorgeous. I was running late for church today, so I did do it, but I didn't really let it dry like I should. So maybe you can't look at it today as much as normal. Okay, so another thing that's my beauty favorites is this Rimmel Stay Matte. But I'm really big on mixing foundations. I never really found the perfect foundation. So I mix this Rimmel Stay Matte and this Revlon Color Stay 24 hours. Now this one is matte and this one say Color Stay Matte Finish, but to me this one has more of a oil base to it. So these two together just kind of blend perfectly. I just love the combination. What I do a lot of times is just play around with things. And if I never would have played around with it, I never would have realize it did, but I'm real, I'm even with my lipsticks and everything, I just mix stuff together and try different things. And sometimes you'll find bingo, like something really, truly fabulous. And I love this. I love what it makes my skin look like. It's like an even finish, um, not too greasy, not too matte, well, it's like gonna dry my skin. So I love this combination. Um, like I said, this one is 520 Revlon Stay and it's Cocoa. And this one here is Stay Matte by Rumo and it's Warm Caramel. I mix them together. Fabulous foundation look. Love, love, love. Okay, you guys. So another one of my beauty favorites that I'm definitely going to take with me into 2020. And this is Black Opal. This is like this secret. A secret a lot of people don't know about. But what I do is when I put, which I forgot to tell y'all this part too. When I put the um, concealer under my eyes, I actually don't even use concealer. I use a contouring cream and I put it under my eyes. But this sometimes when you put on like the different creams, it can kind of make your skin look a little oily. So I go over it with this black opal. It's called Black Opal Invisible Oil Blocking Loose Powder. You can find this at Walmart. I think it's went up to like $9, almost 10. But you guys, I love it. And it lasts forever. And it's basically just loose powder. And it looks really light, but um, it is odorless and colorless. So when you put it on your face, it literally eats the oil off your face. So like if I have like in my T-zone, well, you know how you wear your makeup for a while and sometimes you feel like, the, you know, it just start, maybe you may sweat a little bit or something in church or you go outside and you may you perspire a little bit. Put some of this stuff on your face, it will not, it literally absorbs the oil. Love it and give you like this matte finish, which, oh, I love it. Some people pay a lot of money to get like creams and different powders and stuff to do their face. This stuff is $10 and I just get a brush and just brush it all over my face and like my makeup just sinks in here and it just takes it, any type of oil off of it. And I love the finished look with this black opal. I've used this for a couple of years. I had ran out of it. I've been out of it for like maybe two weeks and I went back and got me some. I was like, I have to get some because I can notice sometimes when I'm taking a picture of some, I start seeing like oily spots, but this right here will get the oil off of your skin. So that's another favorite. This one right here is the Aqualon Glowing Palette Shimmer Kit. And you guys, it doesn't have to necessarily be this kit, but I'm really into the highlighting with my faces. With my face, not my faces, I only have one face. Hmm. But with my face. So I'm loving the look that everyone's doing where it goes down the middle of your nose, you have a little tip right here, and then a little bit right here above your top lip. Some people don't like it, I love it. So. After I do my foundation, I don't feel complete unless I put the highlight on my nose and the highlight right here above my, my lip. I just fell in love with that beauty trend. I love it. I love what it does to my face. I feel like it makes it glow. I feel like it shows up good on pictures. And I just feel like it really makes my makeup pop. I love that little shimmer. And this one right here, this Aqualine um, Glowing Palette is just, really, really, you know, some of them are like less pigmented. This one shows up so good. I don't have to put that much. I love what it does for my nose and how it highlights my face. And then also, I like to put it in the corner of my eyes. Now, some of my makeup has probably worn off today because I've been to church and I've been out to eat. 
um, with my family. So I also put it in the corner of my eyes. I love what it does for my eyes. I love the complete makeup look with this. So this would be another one of my beauty favorites that I'm definitely gonna take in 2020 and I'm definitely gonna continue to look, use. Okay, you guys. So we're gonna move into fashion favorites. My favorite. And I'm gonna start off with this necklace because this is all included in fashion. What is fashion without accessories, right? Happy Sunday. Thank you. Um, another thing that I'm definitely gonna take in 2020 is the drop necklace. Yeah, I know it's crazy because they get so tangled and so crazy, but I absolutely love them. And this one here is not gonna let me, it's not gonna do right because I want it to. But anyway, it's three layers. I mean, it doesn't matter how you do it. I just love the look. I love what it does for our outfit. It's simplicity, but it's just so pretty. And it's just, I love the gold ones. Gold is what, another thing I'm gonna take into 2020 is gold. I'm really not into silver right now. Gold is the color for me. So I love these drop necklaces. They really simple, but really stylish, really cute. You put them on your neck. I mean, you can put them on top of this, this high neck shirt. You can put them on a V neck, something low. It just seems to go with everything and it's so gorgeous. and just does a lot for your neckline and I love it. I'm gonna to continue to use it. It's something I'm definitely gonna to continue to use in 2020. Okay, you guys, another thing I'm taking in 2020 is clutches. I love clutches. I have so many different colors. I decided to show you guys this one because it's like this copper color and it just goes with so many things it's like rust and brown. And I love it because it just, oh, and it's got peppermint. I need some peppermint. But anyway, it clicks on top. It's so fabulous. It goes with so many things. Um, I love to take this to church and for like, you know, kind of formal, elegant events. It's just really cute and sassy. You hold it in your hands. Now I have some with the handles on it and I would recommend getting different kinds. And then I have a couple of them that kind of go around your wrist and you just kind of hold it on your wrist and just kind of dangle there. I love that look. So clutches is something I'm definitely going to take into 2020. They're just a really cute fashion piece and they just really make your outfit look, I don't know, just with that clutch and you have on some like imagine a pencil skirt fitted, you know, zip up the bag, this clutch, some cute fabulous point toe high heels. Oh, I love it. I know, I'm obsessed, right? Okay, you guys, another thing I'm taking in 2020 is fox leather. I love this stuff, okay? I love the skirts. I love the bomber jackets. Um, I just love the fabric. I think it's such a sexy fabric. Um, it's really popular and I really don't see it going out. I really see it staying pretty popular. Um, I don't know. It's just something about this fabric that is just so attractive to me. Um, I have Fox Love skirts on my boutique. I have them in so many different colors. I just want to show you guys a black one today because some people, you know, they're not really into the colors. This one here is just simple. It zips up the bag. I love the stretch fabric. <laughs> I love Fox Leather, you guys. I don't know, this is, I love the Fox Leather pants. I just love this fabric. So this is something I'm definitely gonna continue to wear and something I'm definitely gonna take into 2020. I'm gonna turn this brightness down a little bit more. Okay. Okay, better, better ring light. <laughs> okay, you guys, so another thing I'm gonna take in 2020 is high-waisted items. This right here is high-waisted jeans. This is actually a pair of high-waisted Fashion Nova jeans. I love what five-waisted items do for my waist. I'm a curvy girl. I love the way it elongates my waist. I love the way it looks on me. I really do. It um, brings my waist in. I just love it. I love it in jeans. I love it in skirts. I love it in trousers, um, any kind of pants. I just love high-waisted items. It's my go-to item. Um, pretty much when I'm choosing something, if I have a choice between high-waisted I'm gonna lean more toward the high waist. I, like I said, I love the way it elongates my waist and it brings out my curves and brings in my brings in that hourglass shape. So high waisted items is something else that I'm gonna take into 2020. And it just seems to be really popular. And the thing about high waist, I don't see it going away right now because you see it in everything. Like I said, you see it in skirts, jeans, pants. It's everywhere. It's on most of all the web clothing website. It's on all the fashion models, the celebrities are wearing them, wearing them. It's pretty much an in hit item now. Um, I just love it. I love it. I mean, even if people said, hey, they're never wearing it again, I'm going to continue to wear it. I love what it does for me. Now, you guys, you know how I feel about leopard. 
So this is definitely something I'm gonna take into 2020. And I have several leopard pieces just kind of show you um, what I mean. And this right here is a leopard dress. And you know, this may be a too much print for a lot of people, it's a maxi dress. But what you can do to tone down leopard is by putting on like a nude jacket or a brown jacket or even a black jacket, bomber jacket, blazer, and it would totally tone this all leopard dress all leopard maxi dress down putting you like some maybe nude pointy toe high heels and you know just everything else just definitely needs to be solid when you have on this much leopard because if not it's gonna be like way too busy you know what i'm saying okay and then i also like leopard with my accessories so something like this leopard clutch this is one of the ones i told you just go about your arms you just kind of hold it or you can just hold it like that i love this clutch um, something like this you can have on all black from head to toe. I love wearing an all solid outfit and then just having a pop of color with like my purse or my heels. With this right here, you can have on everything black if you want. You can even have on black heels and just have a pop of color with your leopard purse. Or you can have on all black and put on a pop of color with your purse and maybe your heels to match. Or you can do all black and have on like some red pointed toe heels and your pop, pop of color with your leopard clutch. So you can just play around with your leopard accessories and just whatever you feel comfortable in. If it's too much leopard for you, then don't wear it. If you just want to do this clutch and you don't want anything else leopard, it's perfectly fine. fine. It'd be gorgeous with all white even now. You can wear white with leopard. You can wear it with black. You can wear it with nude. You can wear it with brown and just put this leopard clutch on and you're going to be looking like, hmm. I know exactly what I'm doing in the fashion world, honey. Another thing is leopard belt. Like I said, have on my all black outfit with this leopard belt in the middle. Fabulous, pointed toe high heels. You don't even have to do anything else leopard. You can just have this belt on. If you just want a little splash of leopard. Now, if you want to kind of a little bit more leopard, you can do the shoes in the belt, or you can do maybe a pair of earrings like I did today with the earrings in the belt, or you can do a bracelet in the belt, just depending on how much leopard you want. You definitely don't want to ever have on too much leopard because it can kind of look kind of crazy. But like I said, with something this simple, you can definitely have the shoes and the person that really won't be too much leopard at all. I love this because it's like a velvet in the middle, and I love it because it's predominantly black but then the leopard is kind of outlined around the corners I love this wide belt wide belts really bring your waist in like even right here you can see it look see how cute that is even right here look at that so cute right so you just have to kind of play mm, that is really cute let me stand up yeah I like it so you just have to kind of play around with your clothing and different pieces and don't be afraid to try new things I mean what you're not gonna get arrested like what is the fashion police gonna come and get you no, you're just gonna look at it in the mirror and say, "Oh no, I don't like that," then that's fine. But don't be around. Don't be scared to play around and try new things. I've created some of my best looks by just putting stuff together and saying, "Oh my gosh, I never would have thought that." But you never know; it may just look totally great. And it's, if it don't, don't wear it. It's not that serious. Okay, you guys. So this right here is a Corduroy Leopard Blazer. You guys. I have only went thrift shopping a couple of times and I plan on doing a thrift shopping live with you guys because I think it would be so much fun. You see how I react to clothes? It's, it's crazy. But anyway, this laser, you guys, I saw this in the thrift store. It was new with the tag, the original tag still on it. Who in their right mind would give this away? You guys, it has the red interior, which really makes it fabulous. Oh my gosh, I love this laser. It has the pockets in the front. Now this blazer, I wear it with so many different things, you guys. I wear this with jeans, I wear this with black dress pants, I wear this on top of dresses, maxi dresses, skirt and top. I mean, I mean, it's just endless what you can do with this. You can wear this, like I said, with a pair of jeans and a black top, pop on this leopard um, blazer, pull toe shoes, cute outfit, look like you're really fashion forward, like you know what you're doing. Then take any less time as possible and you still look pretty fabulous. Put this on top of all black dress or all nude dress or all brown dress or all black dress. Oh my gosh. And just, if you don't want anything else on leopard, that's fine. Just let the blazer do all the talking for you. Gorgeous piece. This is like one of my best investments. I think I probably would never get rid of it. Love it. Really simple. It has the brown button on. And with the, you know, with the blazer being leopard, I would definitely suggest nothing else leopard because it's a lot of leopard. So everything else just pretty much needs to be solid. But this jacket right here can bring just a plain outfit and just make it like pop instantly. Okay, you guys, another thing I want to show you guys what to do with the leopard shoes. The same thing. Put these bad boys on with solid, solid. Pop a color with your leopard shoes. You can do a black handbag. You can even do a pop of leopard as, with your clutch as you want to. If you don't want that much leopard, just do the shoes. 
You can do an all red outfit, put on these leopard shoes. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. You can even wear it with what I have on today. Black top, green skirt, leopard shoes. <laughs> fabulous. Like I said, get you some leopard pieces, play around with them. Definitely don't try to wear all of them together, but just put you a pop of color here and there. And that's another thing, not just leopard. Pop of color is something I'm going to take into 2020. I love solids and neutrals and all the same outfit with the top and bottom and then put on a pop of color on your he on your feet or a pop of color in your ears or a pop of color with your clutch and I think it's just so sophisticated so stylish so fashion forward and it just makes your outfits look like you really know what you're doing and just you're just making a statement without saying a word I love it you're talking while you're walking you're creating style and fashion while you I mean, it's just so much fun, you guys, playing around with these pieces. I absolutely love it, love it, love it. Right now, that's the only thing I can think. I'm sure I'm probably taking some more things with me in 2020, and I just can't think of them right now. But another thing I want to tell you guys, too, is like, don't let people put rules on your style. And what I mean by that, fashion is just someone's style that someone copied or someone came out with it, and they made it. It's their individual style, but somebody made it like, oh, this is so fashion because everybody else started doing it. So when you have people who's like still like, oh, you can't wear white after Labor Day, you know, all these old rules that they continue to follow in 2020. No, ma'am. If I want to wear white, I'm going to wear white whenever I want to. No one's going to tell me I can't wear it after Labor Day. So don't be so caught up in these fashion rules that has just been stuck in our head for years and years and years. And you're almost scared to wear white after Labor Day because you think you're going to be like arrested. Oh my gosh, someone's going to say something. And the reason why I'm bringing this up because me and some co-workers was just talking about this like two weeks ago. And they were like, do you wear white after Labor Day? And I was like, I sure do. I wear white whenever I want to. If I want to wear new knee boots in the summertime, I'm going to do what I want to do because it's my individual style. And that's what really creates fashion. If you want to wear it and you feel comfortable in it, I mean, wear it. You know, don't let society put rules on your style. And that's all it is. That's all fashion is. It's something someone wore and everybody thought, mm, that is so fabulous. We're going to copy it. And they copied it and made it into fashion. So don't ever let people tell you and dictate what you're going to wear. You should be allowed to express yourself through your style and through fashion. And you should be allowed to have fun with it. And you should be allowed to create different looks and just embrace yourself. Embrace your body no matter what it is right now and where it is. Even if it's not where you want to be, embrace where you are right now. That's what I want to do. Of course, I want to get a couple of pounds off, but I'm embracing where I am right now. Just quit being so hard on yourself. Us as ladies, we really beat ourselves up about our appearance and our shape and our hair and our skin and trying to look so perfect. And even the people that look so perfect to us, I mean, they also have complaints. They still don't feel like what you think. They still like, oh, it's not good enough because we go by the society. What society put all these rules on us, what we should look like and how we should dress. And no, no. That is something they can't take away from me. It's my individual style. And no one, they shouldn't be able to take that away from you or anyone else. You should have your own style. You are you and you are special because you're the only one is you. So as long as you're being yourself and you're not mimicking someone else, you're not trying to be, with, be someone else, be yourself. And being yourself, I'm telling you, it's just the best thing. You're going to feel so good when you know, hey, this is me. You know, some people are not going to like it. Some people are not going to accept it. But they will respect it when you're being yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you're being yourself, people will respect it. They will be like, well, that's her. You know, whether I agree with it or not, that's her. So have fun with fashion. Play around with pieces. Play around with different colors if you want to. Um, and just enjoy life. Life is so short, you guys. So don't live it trying to go by all these rules and trying to please people that's not paying your bills, honey. That does not put food on your table, does not help you pay rent, doesn't do anything but critique you. No, how dare you? No, you can't tell me what to wear. You wear what you want to wear. I mean, I'm going to tell you go out naked now. I'm telling you do that, but I'm saying as far as impressing your style. But anyway, you guys, I have fun, so much fun with putting, that's some of the funnest moments I have is putting things together and creating different looks. It's a lot of fun to me. I love it. So you guys, it's Sunday and I've had these grandbabies all weekend and I finally got them back home to their mother and I'm just going to enjoy the rest of my Sunday. I had so much fun talking to you guys and catching up with you guys. I had to do a, um, a video today because I didn't do one Friday and I thought, wow, you guys, I really miss talking to you guys. So, um... I'm not sure if I'm going to have a video out Tuesday, my normal day, but I'm going to do my best because, like I said, this weekend I didn't get much done. But um, anyway, I hope everyone has a great 
end of your weekend. I know today's Sunday, tomorrow's work, at least for me it is. And I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for all you do. Thank you guys for your comments and your support. I really, truly appreciate it. If you have not checked out my boutique, this whole outfit today came from my boutique, Prissy by Tawanda, P-R-I-S-S-Y by Tawanda.com. You guys, I picked out every piece and they all touched my heart in some way or another. So you guys, until next time, I love you, my YouTube family. Oh, yeah, and links will be down below for the skirt and the top that I'm wearing today and the earrings. Bye.